I'm going to just briefly, I have a, just a couple slides here um, to say that, you know, when we talk about sustainability, um, I think about two things that we're trying to do at the National Pork Board, which is build trust and add value. And I really, and a lot of the sustainability work is in that build trust, long-term trust in the product that, that you help produce. Um, and really, it, it ends in what I think of as an equation, um, which is building that public trust, which comes from what, what Dallas works so heavily on, and, and many of you, to, to develop that We Care platform, those principles, and then we put practices. And now we're to the point that that third one, the, the maroon or purple looking one, of proof, and really being able to tell and share the industry story, we need that proof. And so that's the the... The big effort I'd say that we are in now to be able to effectively build trust in your product to ultimately bring value back to you as a producer. To do that, um, you know, we have to have those kind of those what I'll call data collection tools, right? Those quantification tools that allow us to pull that information together. And so we're we have built the We Care app that is a, a data warehouse and storage online platform where we can utilize tools that already collect data and we can pull it together um, and effectively share the story um, of not only of you individually but also the industry and so that's this is what this looks like we have and I'll, and I'll show a picture of it but again that's what this is is a pork cares farm impact report and so that's your individual um, report for your operation tells what you do and takes your practices and converts those into an environmental outcome. So not something that's easily done by any individual is to take uh, cover crops or LED lights in your barns and actually show a quantified greenhouse gas reduction, right? Well, this tool can do that for you um, and you can have it for your operation. You can probably imagine that the output of, of the industry doing that can lead to reports not only for Ben to utilize here in Iowa around what Iowa producers are doing, um, but also then for myself or, um, or Bill even to take to folks around the world to talk about what the U.S. pork industry is doing. And so that's the power of, of what doing it can be. It can be at the individual farm level for you and then turn it around and, and we can aggregate that all together and talk talk about the national story. So this is that on-farm report and again you have an example but what I'm showing you is actually kind of a, the latest in, in what is the aggregated report. And so for the 200 producers that, that have completed their report so far, I'll point you to this number, negative 0.43 tons CO2e per acre. That means of the 200 people, that 200 operations that are in there, they are showing that they are climate positive or carbon negative, you know, pick your term. Um, and that's a pretty, you, you can imagine if we could take that and get that sound bite in the ear of every external stakeholder around the world, you can imagine what that might do and change their opinions about the sustainability of U.S. pork, right? A lot of questions being asked. Dallas is going to touch on that. This is the information that can help change those misperceptions and those misunderstandings and really start to correct the story for it. But again, but again, you know, we have 200 in there now, but we need more. You know, we need more folks in there to be able to, to actually be representative of the industry at large. And so one way we're also trying to expand the program or take the next step to provide value to, to you as a producer is to say, okay, you can do your baseline report. Now let's think about what else is out there that you might be able to do on your operation. Um, if you already have, uh, Gary, I think you have 100% of your acres covered in cover crops already, right? So, um, but but how about how about deep pit systems? Can we go from one pumping of a, in a 12 month period to a second pumping, right? And so um, this new opportunity, and we'll call it Advancing U.S. Pork Sustainability Grant, is leveraging your checkoff investment uh, in this tool to then. So then we have gotten the federal government to say that's a pretty valuable um, valuable program. We'll invest 20 million in the states of Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri to pay for those practice changes. So now if you don't do, you know, if there's some steps you want to take on your operation, you can have your baseline report 
and now you can take the next step. And so we're in negotiations with USDA currently. Uh, this is one of three grants that we were on as National Pork Board, but this is the one we will administer um, on your behalf and try to, to get as many of those dollars uh, to you as the producer um, a, as we can. Um, and again, it's a, a very good um, representation of how we can leverage those dollars um, to, to benefit producers. Um, so uh, in negotiations, I mentioned that, um, and we will, um, we're hoping for, for late spring uh, for those negotiations to, to wrap up and be able to have that, that kind of that final opening of that program or that, um, that point. But I'll, I'll leave you with this, um, that you can get started uh, as pork producers. Your checkoff dollars, again, have made those on-farm on sustainability reports already available. And that's going to be the first step to accessing the dollars for any practices. So if, if you are interested in that, or even if you're not interested in those practice changes, I would encourage you to go to porkcheckoff.org slash sustainability um, because you can get started on your on-farm sustainability report today. And again, um, we, can, we can talk more. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions about them. Um, the, SE, the Sustainable Environmental Consultants team uh, is here and they are our partner um, in running the tool that generates those reports. Um, so you can talk to, to ask any questions to them as well. Um, and uh, Sam Marine is here too, um, and she is helping um, us to get that grants program, the practice implementation piece of it, up and going too. So if you have questions there, you can you can grab any of us. <laughs>